Take three. Our names aren't important, but what is important is how bad liquid metal sucks right now on Sirius XM. Some years ago, I uh, bought a, a Rode XT XM receiver just to listen to XM LM, well, now liquid metal, but it used to be called XM LM at the time. That's true. And it was awesome. I, it, it introduced me to a lot of metal that I've never heard of, like, uh, and, and this, you know, like, uh, I mean, obviously I heard of things like Slayer and Camel Corpse and Iron Maiden, but there's a, it, kind of, it played the stuff that shitty FM stations just didn't play. Even bands that aren't even in the classification of metal, such as the Deftones and Suicidal Tendencies. At least now they do that. I mean, now, now ever since Sirius merged with XM, and, and um, they, they kind of took over everything, you know, li the new liquid metal sucks ass. Not to mention the gay fucking DJ called Jose Stupid Fucking Stick. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little harsh, but still, yeah. he's just fucking everything up, and I don't think he's doing a lick of good to nobody. The only cool person, what was his name, Scott? You mean, oh yeah, uh, Mario. Mario, yeah. Sorry, they're so new, I don't even remember the damn names. There's like five of them now. Exactly. There's three. I guess you need five to do a good job. That tells you how bad series blows. It's all their fault, this stupid fucking merger thing. I don't get it. it. Confuses me. I mean, what? And you can't even call in anymore. You can call in like I think one time, maybe once or twice a week for an hour. And good bands like Hannibal Corpse, they only play like one song. They all they play is the, is uh, Evisceration Plague, and that's it. Except if it's Beyond the Pit. I mean, which now used to be like Mercury, which was came on at 6 p.m. They played nothing but grindcore, death metal, and black metal. And you know now as they, they play all the all that stuff at, at midnight when everyone's fucking asleep. Very true, very true. I will have to wholeheartedly agree with that. They save all the good shit for last, and they play all the gay shit during the day. And nobody nobody really wants to watch that. Do you want to watch that or listen to it rather? Right no. Yeah, no one wants to listen to that bullshit. And you've got you know DJs who don't know. What That's why they have Octane. Yeah. The Octane station is supposed to play all the hard rock. Hard rock isn't metal. And that stupid Jose guy's voice. Liquid metal. Or whatever the fuck he does, he sounds gay as shit. Yeah, I mean, he. I think he's a, actually a huge. I mean, he was like, for the first you don't know, he was the the the, the director for Heart Attack, uh, for uh, the the station Heart Attack when it was serious and next to him separately, which is gay. But now, you know, uh, since they merged, you know, it's just in liquid metal now, you know, he, he, he wants to represent all metal, including the one including non metal. And it doesn't work whatsoever. Just no. makes himself look like a jackass. I mean I can kinda understand Bullet from my Valentine, which I hate. <laughs> but Deftones, that's punk. Fucking come on. Seriously. And they, they get your shit together. I mean, I feel kind of bad now because I used to complain when Katie would play stuff like Psyopus or the Number Twelve Looks <laughs> Like You, which actually they still play a lot now. But now I think they feel obligated to play all these unknown bands that just suck terribly. And uh, not to mention they're probably going to lose a lot of money because a lot of people will drop their prescriptions. Prescriptions. <laughs> <laughs> prescriptions. No, they're, they're picking up their prescriptions. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, you have to. Take some that'll listen to the fucking shit they're playing now, but a lot of people drop their subscriptions to XM Radio because of the the merger and how bad it sucks now. Yeah, it, it, it's just it's terrible. So, um, and, and what what I really don't like is you know the 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 DJ personalities. There's no personality. Suck. They're just it's not even there. I I they're just, agree. They're just your the generic DJs that you would listen on FM. They, Back in the days of Cool Guy. Katie Brutal and Ward Cleaver, I mean, they actually had a lot of personality. They, and especially Cool Guy. I mean, a lot of people didn't like him, but I mean, people are really regretting not liking him now because they have to deal with Jose. Because it fucking sucks now. I mean, who the fuck wants a. I mean, I hate to be racist. I'm not a racist. I hate everybody equally, but still. No one wants a Mexican introducing metal because Mexicans don't listen to metal. They listen to. What's that shit called? Uh, Latin? Salsa, Latin, I don't fucking know. It's shitty music anyways. So. You gotta excuse my friend. He's, he's kind of... He's <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's so shitty. But it's okay. Anyway, back to the topic. Um, 
Yeah, I actually saw on the internet uh, a petition that that was that was that people were signing up, you know, so, uh, trying to get the old XML and back, you know, the way it was, and quitting their their just canceling some subscriptions. And I actually think about doing that because it just. I mean, all I listen to is liquid metal, and if they ruin that, there's no reason to have an XM radio anymore. Very true. The best music we've had in a long time is going to the fucking Testament concert last night. Oh, yeah, that was badass. That was very fucking badass. Testament, you guys fucking rock. Can't really see it. There we go. Anyways, but, uh, but no. I mean, you know, and even, even at the fucking, you know, they're starting to play shitty bands, The Mask, now. like, well, I guess Lazarus 80, they're mediocre. They're not that bad. For those of you who don't know what the Masquerade is, is a local venue in, in Atlanta. And if you live in Atlanta and you don't know what it is, then fuck you. <laughs> so, I mean, that's where I'll, it's, in my opinion, the best venue here in Atlanta. Well, I guess you can't really call Lakewood a venue. It's just more of an arena for badass bands coming up on the fucking Mayhem Fest, Slayer, and... Fuck, yeah, I'm getting off topic. Well, for those, for those people, speaking of Mayhem Fest, for those people... That uh, are going to miss Mayhem Fest. Fuck you. <laughs> you need to go. Get your fucking tickets. It's only 56 bucks, man. Don't be a bitch. Well, that's for good seats. I mean, you can get in the lawn for 25. Seriously, just take a hit out on somebody. Then you can make money. Sell your dick. I don't know. <laughs> I'm. If it's worth selling. I'm poisoning the mind of the youth. I need to shut up. Who says the youth is watching this? Very true. I'm poisoning minds in general. Well, well, anyway, uh, but but uh. You know, it used to be we had a, you know, this is you know, a little off topic, but we had a punk station on XM. On XM. Mm -hmm. It was Fungus. Yes, we yeah, did. Right. And f they got rid of it. There's no punk station now, not whatsoever. And I don't like, you know, punk, but for those people that did like punk, it was very dumb the single out one of the biggest genres of music. Exactly. Now you know that the <laughs> punk station is gone. We got punk bands like Deftones playing on liquid metal ruining our fucking station. I mean, what's up? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's very true. So, I don't know. The fucking merger was a big mistake. Any final thoughts? Yeah, I think that anybody that has a XM or a Sirius receiver, just, and you look in your metalhead like we are, um, just cancel it. I mean, it, I if, you, if you're a real metal, mental fan, just get rid of your, get rid of it, deactivate it until they fix it. Agreed. You'll see, you'll save, you'll save, you know, $12 a month or how many dollars a year and, and you can use that money to buy music you actually like on CD format. Or beer. Yeah, or beer. <laughs> of course, you wouldn't buy it. So. Yeah, very true. Wish I could, though. My final thoughts, Jose, fuck you.